Ask the questions. Mark, congratulations. Fantastic win at Tabletop in Swindon Town. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good, uh, committed performance. We, we, we had something in mind that we've, worked, we've had 10 days to work on. And uh, the first goal came from that. And it um, just shows when you, when, when you play and, and you don't make key errors and you work really hard, you're always going to get chances. And, and the boys carried it out magnificent, ma magnificently against what I think are the best team in the league by, by a long, long way. You pulled a pre-match surprise. A lot of people would have raised their eyebrows seeing Ibu Adams up front, but he really delivered for you. Yeah, I just felt with Ibu, he's, he's got that real agility, pace. He's, I think I'd describe him as a real handful, and, uh, and we needed that at the top of the pitch today to, to try and disrupt Swindon. And I thought it was outstanding and, and topped it with a goal. You said pre-match you would ask the players to play without any fear or any pressure, and they gave you a real front foot start. They did, but I think I think you know it's a difference when the boys come into this atmosphere, and it's it's easier to get yourself up for these games because you know that you're in the lion's den and you've got to step up. Um, we started like a house on fire, Just scored a great goal, great ball from Els and, and a great finish from Matty. But the players all the way through the team today were, were incredible. Young Dokes at the back, he was like a, a man mountain. Um, Elliot Freer playing as a, as a wing back. When you look at the five players that are on our treatment table, probably be our five starting defenders and for the young boys Chris Stokes was magnificent um, Nathan McGinley looked like the old Nathan McGinley the whole team was, was outstanding they hit the post twice had one cleared off the line but really they did, Lewis Thomas didn't really have a great deal to do no Tomo was comfortable he did well and um, listen when you come to a place like, place like this you know you're going to have to defend or big moments and get a little bit of luck and and we earned that bit of luck today. I think the Swindon are a tremendous team and, and we'll win the league. How does it feel for you personally as well? It has been a, a tough sequence for everybody connected with the club. Yeah, I think it's important that you conduct yourself properly, like a proper human being, when when everybody's having pot shots and you have to wait your time. And, um, it's been tough, but the boys, if there was any doubt in the spirit and, and the commitment and the changing room then, and how pleasing is it for you to beat a team that you've you've managed? It doesn't make any difference, Ash. No. Three, three points. I'm really pleased for the for the players and the staff in there that have worked so hard for to try and get us back on track. Yeah. Just talk us through E. B. Adams' goal. I mean, it was a, a tiring header, wasn't it? It was a great counter attack, wasn't it? And um, you know, ebu has got that leap and to get that much power on it, like he did from a from a standing standing jump, was, was incredible. Yeah. And pleasing for Matty Stevens as well. Yeah, Matt, he's been patient. He's um, he's been in that group of strikers that have not scored the goals when we've needed them. But he's got his chance today and took it, and um, I thought he was magnificent at the top of the pitch. Congratulations today. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.